I do believe in the here and now that animals um, must be rescued, must you know have their pain alleviated. I mean, if for example there was um, I don't know an adult abusing a child, we would remove that child. We wouldn't accept any reasons or excuses for that. And um, I just use the same theory, the same tactic to animals. In my view, laws are not set in stone and um, laws throughout the, um, the decades have been altered by um, public consensus, public protest, and I don't believe that you can ever challenge a law without um, the use of direct action. In the mid-1990s, I was part of an operation um, against an abattoir, a slaughterhouse in the west side of the country. Um, which involved firebombing of 12 vehicles, um, including delivery vans and individual cars. Um, we also broke into the abattoir itself and set fire to the interior of the premises. And I was arrested and charged and imprisoned um, for that offence. If you're doing arson, you have to be very careful to minimise all the risks associated. Preparation and reconnaissance took us about a month and a half, two months. A lot of surveillance had to be done on the place to ascertain there'd be no um, humans or animals in the area. It's very easy to prevent human fatalities from carrying out direct action. So we checked the um, interior and exterior doors, the roofs, um, possible places of entry and exit. For every direct action that has ever been taken, there are probably half a dozen that were not taken because of the threat to human or animal life. We deliberately um, created fuses that would ignite while we were still there, so we had an element of control over the situation before we left. In this case, the implications of actually rescuing farm animals is immense, simply because of where to put them, if nothing else. But if you close the slaughterhouse down, and you would do for a few months at least, and their premiums shoot up through the roof, and so it becomes much more, much more of an expensive business. So the profit they're making from killing animals in the first place can either be tempered or sometimes countered by economic sabotage. So the money they're making from animals is no longer cost effective. So in, in that respect, it was damage was done, damage was done. So I, I consider that a successful operation.